Today is just gonna be one of those days. The rainy day here at Disney. We've got a lovely cross rain coming too, so we're gonna get soaked today. We're gonna get soaked. But this means we're gonna have probably a very empty Magic Kingdom day because it's for two reasons. I'll tell you once we get in. Ah. Nothing quite like a rainy day at the Magic Kingdom. Oh wow, got both monorails. I don't know the last time that's happened. Woo, it's raining. A very empty uh, TTC here today, as to be expected. Can't wait to see what it looks like inside. A quiet, quiet day. Love these types of days, hey? Okay, today's objective is very simple. See how empty it is inside the Magic Kingdom on a rainy, most importantly, it's another reason why we're here because I'm already expecting low crowds. It's a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party day as well. So the Magic Kingdom is going to be closing tonight at 6. But those who have a reservation for the party, I believe, can enter at 4. So it should be pretty, pretty empty for us. Plus it's raining. Got two things going for us. Most of y'all know, but rule number one, when you come to Disney, do not skip out on a rainy day. It's just kind of misting and it's kind of a crosswind, so it's sort of kind of unfortunate. We're gonna be one with the rain today, but let's go in the park and see what it's like. I'm gonna check the wait times here in a second, but there it is, promptly at 6 p.m. And unfortunately, they do not have the Very Merry Christmas Party maps out during the day, if you're wondering. Rainy days are also very hard to vlog, so if you guys could do me a favor and thumbs the video up, my uh, camera is getting soaked. And I also have a new mic. Let me know if you guys can hear a difference or not. This is looking very promising. Love to see this. A little bit more on the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party dates. If you guys can come to the Magic Kingdom and uh, rope drop and be here all day, the crowds are going to be low. Very, very low. We did that with the Halloween party and we're going to see it here today. Obviously, I mean, it kind of is already a little bit more packed than I thought it was going to be with a party and rain. But... You know, it's still going to be better than a normal day. I'm just going to head on into the train station for a second. Because I want to check the wait times. See, some would think that Disney's struggling in a way if you come on a day like today. But, you know, it's not the case. It's not the case at all. Unless you guys think so. I don't think so. Alright, here are the current wait times today. I expect them to be pretty darn low. Except for... I don't know why, the Jingle Cruise is always so popular. 45 minutes for Mansion, 70 for Peter. You know, it's it's not the emptiest of days, but this is the best we're gonna get probably towards the end of the year. It would probably be a little bit longer too if we were here when it wasn't raining. This is a steal for us, without a doubt. And if you can't hear it, I didn't know. They play the Christmas tunes inside at the railroad station. Which just sounds really good, actually. With all that, let's venture on in. I think I'm gonna start making my way to Pirates because it was a, what, a five minute wait? Love that. And on a day like today, I like to bring my big umbrella because it's a constant rain. Actually, these next couple days are gonna be raining here. We haven't had a rainy, like, rainy season. Hurricane season hasn't really been bad. Knock on wood right now. So this is pretty great for this. But the next couple days are rain and then it's clear. Disney did just wrap up their holiday filming for the TV special that you'll see on Christmas Day. I wonder if they have all that down, but unfortunately, we didn't get to see that today. Or sorry, this, this year. Next year. It's always next year, right? This is the rare sight to see. An empty Christmas tree. The photo pass is taking cover. There must be lightning in the area. Usually when the cast aren't out, it's because there's lightning. Never get to walk over here. Let's take a quick look at this side. This is always taken up by PhotoPass. Hello, Bear. And hello, Main Street. Probably gonna get the rainy day parade today. Can barely see the castle with all the rain coming down. The crossed wind and rain is kind of brutal today. And you know what, with PhotoPass not being here, again, you never really see like an empty Main Street without any cast members. What a day. 
comment down below if you guys would come on a day like today. I uh, hope I can convince you guys that you should. I mean, on a day like today, I really wouldn't plan on eating. I'd plan on trying to get everything done. Wouldn't you guys think? I don't know, that's just me. Just notice this, they actually moved the get booth right on over here from over on Main Street. That's all the Great Bay umbrella do was cow Haha, what's up? <laughs> Go back over. I think this is a way better location for get because it's not really gonna clump up like it kind of did over there. So I don't know if this is temporary for today, but I think it's gonna be over here if you guys need to use the guest experience team. This is if uh, you're new around here. You uh, have any problems, they'll, I guess, try their best to fix it. Love to see this though. It's what we're here for. Ugh, every second, it's a constant clean off the camera. I'm trying my best. If you see dots on there, it's obvious because it's raining out and I haven't cleaned it off yet. I just, I'm telling you, these misting days, I feel like are harder than like an actual downpour. Into Adventureland we go. My shoes are soaked. I mean, if you did want to eat, there's practically no lines, but ice cream on a rainy day, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they got a Christmas item here. What is it? Cranberry citrus float, orange vanilla okay, soft serve twist. Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That never happens. I like that. All right. Onward with the show. Go ahead, comment down below if you guys are gonna make it here for the holidays. Thought I'd ask. I'm always curious. I'm still kind of hoping that Pirates is a a walk-on. They're actually still doing Aladdin's flying carpets right now, the magic carpets, in the rain. You can't have an umbrella up, but today's kind of a day you just, you gotta go there and, at least for me, because I can't really pull my phone out when I have an umbrella on camera. Just gotta go there and, and hope it's still a walk-on. Looks to be it. I think we're gonna have a walk on here. And a giant puddle. Whoa, boy. Oh, that just waterlogged me. Check this out. Yep. <laughs> it's five minutes. Say it with me, everybody. It's a walk on. There's actually a lot of, a lot of Genie Plusers. I wouldn't buy Genie Plus on a party day for Magic Kingdom. I wouldn't do that. But they could be Dash, so. There's always that. Ooh, this is gonna be freezing. Oh, huh. not that bad actually. This really wasn't a walk-on, but for, for pirates, this technically kind of counts in a way. Right? Right. It's been a while since we've been on pirates too. Cause then, does anybody remember like the last vlog we had with pirates? Cause I don't. I think the last was maybe at Disneyland. Here we go. There she is. Black Pearl. so foggy in here. I don't know what's going on, but it's so foggy in here today. Don't be cheeky. Oh, 
And there's Jack. Did anybody see a behind the attraction on Disney Plus? There's one on Pirates of the Caribbean. Just noticing right now, Space Mountain is a whopping 10 minutes wait. A 10 minute wait. What in the world? Meanwhile, it's a small world, it's 35. Oh, oh, yo, ho, a pirate's life for me. Let me know, um, oh my gosh, I'm messing my words today. Let me know uh, how the audio was on that ride again. New mic, so I'm trying to like test things out. I feel like I always come in this shop, but I never show any of the merch. Look like they're still selling Dead Man Tells No Tales, Captain of a Mangy Crew, Fear the Beards. They actually have a lot of good merch in here. They've got tie-dyed sweatpants, Pirates of the Caribbean, and then also you can get a tie-dyed shirt with that. There's just gonna be a lot of people inside merch shops. Oh, that's pretty. Trying to take cover from the rain. It's still raining. Umbrella goes up. Still looks the same. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't checked out the uh, Tiana's Bayou updates, and there's actually a lot of them. A lot of them meaning you can see a lot of progress. It's kind of hard to see, but you can totally tell that they've added a lot of greenery on it. This side, let me see if I can get a better vantage point somewhere else. This looks new to me. They've added a couple new signs. It looks like. Oh yeah, because it used to just be this one in the middle and it looks like they've added these as well. Looks like it's peeling off a little bit. Oh, snap. They have actually added trees here. Looks like two of them. See, like the ones that actually look like really green leaves, those are fake. They've added those right there. That's kind of neat. Didn't expect them to add trees there. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Obviously, they're not working today in the rain, but they would normally be working today. Not much progress over here. It's more towards the mountain. Not sure if you guys can see, but that right there, they've also repainted too when you're going on up the mountain for the first time. But they've added a lot, a lot of greenery here. I'm gonna go to the railroad real quick just to kind of check out some more updates. Big Thunder's a whopping 15 minute wait if you uh, elect to ride it on a light mist. Would you guys go on in a mist? Oh, we're gonna get a way better look at it over here. Check this out. See that on the side? They've added some uh, mossy green coloring because normally it would just be like this, but they've added that moth mossy green. And same with that, uh, like the, I don't know what to call those, those plants. That's what I'm talking about. Those are all new and added. You can actually see them right here too. But I actually see some new wood planks that have been installed. That looks like to be maybe the new fast pass. The railroads here, I could go on the railroad too. I think I just might if I can catch it. Here's gonna be a good look at a lot of the progress. This is what I'm talking about. I think this is gonna be a fast pass. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually for um, getting off the railroad. See that? We've discovered that last time. Fast pass, I think, is still gonna go here. But just a big mud slap. Looks like that's gonna be the concrete over there. See that? Those are the concrete slabs. But yeah, they've gotten far. Not really far with this, though. We just missed that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Check this out. 
forgot about this. I saw this kind of getting it done last time. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Wow. Oh, you can actually see the queue too. Looks like no progress with that. That looks to be the same. But check that out. That really pops. Wow. I feel like that's like the biggest update. Looks to be done too. Ooh, here's kind of a better look of up top as well. All the moss. And again, this is probably going to be some sort of exit for the train station. Not the fast pass. I don't know why I keep saying that. Fast pass looks like it's going to be in the same area, maybe. You see how they actually have like the curve of the rocks here? Fast pass is probably going to be over here. Oh, why do I? It's not even a fast pass. Lightning lane. Nice. That's new, too. What do we think about those updates? I feel like there's been a lot of progress, more than we've ever seen with Tron be that fast. The rain's actually kind of stopped a little bit here. Come on, soon. Anybody else know my struggle? Because I just got off of Pirates and I haven't opened my phone, but the brightness is all the way down. Now I can't even see anything. Sounds like it. Oh, I got it. Let's go. Closer look down here. I wonder if this is like a floodlight here. You see this in the middle? I don't know what that is. They really haven't done much down here. Bet you this is gonna be like one of the last things they do. You can tell today's a really empty day because look at the crowds for the first parade. Pretty sure it's gonna be the rainy day cavalcade too. What a good empty day to be here. Can I walk this way or is it a dead end? Well, I can. Ooh, side note guys, because uh, the Liberty Tree Tavern always reminds me of Thanksgiving. I've actually got a pretty big announcement about Thanksgiving and a big travel adventure coming in tomorrow's video. All in November, obviously. Where do you guys think I'm going for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Hmm. It's not gonna be Disney World, I'll tell you that. For the first time in like years, we're not gonna be here at Disney World. Now when we were here for the Very Merry Christmas party, I did see this, but I wanted to wait until for today when you can actually see it. I've got no idea what they're doing here because it could be a simple concrete update, but why would they have huge scaffolding go all the way up there? I don't know if they're kind of extending the building or what. This used to be where stroller parking is. But it's really weird that they have this high of a structure for I don't know what. I've got no idea. I guess we'll find out soon whenever they bring it down. But it can't just be concrete because they don't do that just for concrete. I think I said in this video something about not eating on a rainy day, but boy do I need some food right now. I gotta find something. I gotta find something fast. I'm hungry. With it not being busy, I just mobile ordered at Pinocchio's. And it's indoors too. It's a Small World is still a 35 minute wait. By the line, it doesn't look 35. It looks more like a 10 minute wait. I don't know why Disney does that, but still says 35. It's definitely not a 35 also. I think we found some crowds. Usually this is where they all are. Believe it or not, my mobile order is already ready in less than a minute. Also, the amount of people that do not mobile order is just kind of really surprising. That looks to be like a very long line out the door. Meanwhile, we just walk right in. Like, look at that. Mobile order, everybody. But it's a zoo in here. Unfortunately, there's also a very long line for mobile pickups. Got my food. The only problem is inside is a complete mess and there's going to be nothing out here as well. Here's a look at the flap ride. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, it's the best you're going to get for theme park food. You didn't really cut it too well. Ooh, why is it so dark? I don't know, but we're going to try a bite. It's actually pretty darn good. Better than Pizza Rizzo's. It's also a pretty good portion size. This is good. I don't know why I've never come over here and tried this. All I can say is that really hit the spot. It was pretty good. Better than I thought it was going to be, but I mean, it actually stopped raining. It stopped raining. Lucky us. I guess the rain keeps people away from the, the sword and the stone, too. Oh, just kidding. Spoke too soon. 
You know, I was gonna do Enchanted Tales with Belle. On the app it said 10 minutes, but now it's a 30. So we're gonna pass on that. Looks like Mine Train has stopped operating here. I almost set in the snow. What is going on with me today? I don't believe I showed this during the Christmas party, but they actually have some Christmas decorations over here in the gift shop and then at Gaston's Tavern. You know, it's, it's very small, but at least they do decorate. I think Gaston's actually looks a little bit better. This is what we're talking about though. Come on a day like today if you can. I believe Little Mermaid is a whopping five minute wait. You know, I should have got a turkey leg from over here. I've never tried it from over here because I think the other one is different. Over at the marketplace. And you know, it's almost Thanksgiving. All I can say is that I'm happy it at least stopped raining. That is a gift. Take your notes on this one, on a party day and a rainy day. I think we can just say on a party day, expect Tron to be available for purchase. I actually just purchased it. It was 60 bucks. So we're gonna go ride Tron. Or 60 bucks, 20 bucks. It was 60 bucks, heck no. But for three people, it's 60 bucks. Tomorrowland seems pretty darn empty for Tomorrowland standards. I honestly can't believe that we just got a Tron though for right now. Speedway says five minutes, that is way more longer than five. They always say that's five, but that's really like a 15. One of my biggest questions is, does anybody really even go up to like these DVC booths? I mean, they must because they keep redoing them. But like, do people actually do this? I know sometimes if you actually go do a tour, you get like a, like two lightning lanes in the past they used to do that. I'm not sure if they do it anymore, but I don't know. I don't have DVC. So surprising, Space Mountain is still only a 15 minute wait. I've got no idea why that is. It's so strange. So strange. I'm assuming since we got a lightning lane for just now for Tron, this is gonna be a walk-on for us. Hey, I'll go on this any day that I can get it for like the instant I wanna go on it. 20 bucks though is kind of a steep price, especially for a family of four. 80 bucks plus tax, it's like $90. I don't know, comment down below, would you guys do that? I'm actually curious what I'm going to be doing with this umbrella because it's not going to fit in the locker, so I guess we'll we'll find that out. Never ran into this issue. Oh, wow, there's like hardly anybody in line. Look at this. When have you ever seen it like this at the Magic Kingdom? for Tron. I have never seen this. Wow, there is literally no line for the virtual queue. Oh my gosh. Looks like this isn't even working. Didn't this used to have like lighting? Could have sworn it had like some blue lights on the side. Now it's just like a black hallway. Probably one of the coolest effects, other than like the <laughs> Enchanted Tales with Belle effect. I really want to see that again. That one always blows my mind. But like, look at that line. There's literally nobody in line. That's really weird. That means like nobody tried to get the virtual queue this morning. Or there's not enough demand for the virtual queue. Could I still have gotten the virtual queue? I'll check that. I could have sworn I couldn't have. Sorry, it's really black, I don't know why. Usually we stop here too, and we're just walking on through. Locker 358, let's do this one. I wonder if I can just tap with this. No, I'm gonna need my card. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen it like this. Also, they told me there's a spot to put this down there, but Wow, we just technically walked on Tron. Here we go! Initiate in three. Oh boy.
My umbrella was right down there. Super nice. Took me all of 10 minutes to get on and get off Tron, or like 15. More like 15, that's the quickest I've ever been on Tron. I've never seen it like that ever. That was cool. By the way, the virtual queue is actually still open today. Mind blown. The highest wait times in the park right now, <laughs> get ready for this. Pir oh, sorry, not Pirates. It's Haunted Mansion at 45, Peter Pan at 70, and then believe it or not, Winnie the Pooh at 35, tied with the Jingle Cruise. And you know what's actually not a long line right now? The Astro Orbiter. I'm gonna go on the Astro Orbiter. When do I ever do this? Pretty much never. But uh, eh. <laughs> I uh, hardly ever go on this ride because it's so long. Not today. Let's just hope it doesn't start raining when we're up there. That'd be something. Remember, if you guys don't know, you take an elevator actually up here. It's been so long, I don't even know if I've been on this this year yet. It's gonna be the first this year. Good thing it's not raining anymore. We hardly get to see this. From this view, at least. Oh, we're gonna go in front. Welcome to the Astro Orbiter, everybody. It's been a hot second. It really has. Just want to kind of stay up here all day. Like, look at these views. Look at it. We're gonna pick this one right here. Just my luck, it's beginning to drizzle just a little bit. Just a little bit. Pull back on the control lever in front of you. To descend, just push the control lever forward. Thank you. No, thank you. Prepare for liftoff. Come on. Higher. Higher. I want to go higher. There we go. All right, let's enjoy these views for days. Sure is nice. Just a nice little ride here. You can really see how empty it is today up here though. For sure. Oh boy. Might lose my hat here. Are you guys getting dizzy? Am I even recording? Okay, good. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm getting too old for this. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Welcome back, everybody. Once those rockets come to us, And down we go. You can just walk in, yeah. I honestly feel like that was my first time on Astro Orbiter this year. I don't remember the last time I've been on that. Maybe January? Usually it's like a 45 minute wait and I'm like, I'm not waiting for that. 45 minutes. <gasps> Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a concrete update here in Tomorrowland. Wow. They just redid this too, like a couple years ago. So I don't know why they're redoing it, but must have been pretty damaged. That's wood, by the way. They haven't really completely did it yet. Oh my gosh, what a vibe. I said it during the party, but coming here and hearing the Christmas music, it's everything. And also, they have uh, taken down all the TV special stuff, so you can actually go to the stage now, which is nice. But with that, everybody, that is going to uh, complete our day, I think. Also, I really do like that guest experience isn't there anymore, because it really just kind of opens up this place how it was intended to be. This is as empty you're gonna see Magic Kingdom this holiday on these days. I don't think there's gonna be any more rainy days, but there's gonna be some more um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party days, so make sure you guys come on those days. Here's a quick little look at the new Polynesian extension. Looks like they've, I mean, installed all of their, their doors and windows. That's the only progress I can really see that is for sure kind of continued on from the last update. Almost, hopefully soon. Well, I just got home, everybody. Going on those days is kind of like my favorite in a way, a rain and a party day, bliss. Absolute bliss, my feet are so wet right now. <laughs> that's the only thing that's really wet is just the feet, the shoes got drenched. But um, yeah, if you guys are making it out here and it happens to rain or it's on a party day, go to Magic Kingdom, I'm telling you guys, it's the best thing ever. 
we got on three rides. I mean, I paid for one ride, but the other thing, um, Astro Orbiter, never see that low. You never see any of those wait times that low, especially this time of year. Do it if you guys can. And um, with that, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Big announcement tomorrow. Bye-bye. Big announcements, actually.